get it fixed. And only we can do it. And we can do it for you right now over the phone. You just give us your credit card number and your name. And while you're at it, you may as well give them your bank account number. You may as well give them everything. Um, and, uh, and we'll have that fixed up for you because if you go into anything now, you're going to lose every, all, every, all of your computer memory is going to be gone. Everything's going to be gone. Uh, you notice that's the mo one of the highest uh, number of complaints. Not necessarily the amount of dollar loss, but high, high victims and high complaints. Extortion. <clears throat> the CRA scam. I mean, we just saw a video from uh, the CBC that was uh, put out last year. Uh, 7,425 complaints. So, number one, the government, so there's a lot of people, and again, over a million dollars, and that's just seniors, that's just seniors, that's, that's not any of the, of the other group of population. So, the government is never, ever, ever gonna ask you for information over the phone. And if they're calling you about your taxes, they'll be calling you to ask you, uh, maybe you have a refund. So, everybody likes to hear the word refund. But really, they just want to get your, they have to confirm who you are, they need some personal information in order for them to send that refund. Well, the government knows everything about us. They don't need to ask us that information on the phone. And vice versa, you heard on the example in the video, uh, if you owe, owe money, they're going to put the pressure on you hard. And if you're someone living alone, and you don't have a lot of contact with people, it can be pretty scary when someone's calling you or emailing you or harassing you because they'll, they'll wear you down. They'll, they'll call four, five, six times a day. They're relentless. Uh, the inheritance scam, I have a letter from a friend that uh, she gave me that apparently she inherited like $3.8 million in the UK. So, um, and it's an interesting letter because uh, it says about five times in the letter, only contact by email or fax, email or fax. Well, if you're going to inherit that amount of money, you're going to be going to a lawyer, you're going to be going to a bank, <laughs> there'll be a little more uh, red tape involved than just an email and a fax. Uh, 